Right, it happened to the Jews. Because that's the Jew right there that you're looking at. This is the Jew. This is the Jew. See, what people like this try to do, they have their job is to make sure that you never understand that you are an Israelite, that you're the real Jew. That's now, right. I got a question. I ain't talking to you. Talk to the hand like they say. I ain't talking to you. I got a question for you. What do the people in, in Israel right now, do they call themselves Jews or do they say that they're Jewish? Which one? They say they're what? They say they're Jewish. Now, why don't they call themselves Jews? Yes, sir. I got a question. Cause you, you know, you know, you in Israel. Cause I heard you say you from what tribe? You from the tribe of Judah. And what tribe did you say you from? Looking at this sign. Looking at the sign, I'm telling you. So, what? How do? How do we know that we're Israel according to the Word of God? How do we know that we are the Israelites? How do we know that? Because he, he, he tells us, but he. I want to show you. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 45. Because I saw him shaking his head. No, no, that ain't true. Yes, it is true. You black men, you are the greatest man ever created on the earth. That's right. You're the Israelites. And how do we know this? Because it's written in the Holy Bible that all the churches have. But what has happened is people that look like this have made it seem like this is a book for everybody. And that God looks like this and Christ looks like this. That's a damn lie. We're going to show you how you know you're an Israelite so that people like this can't tell you that you are not an Israelite. You listen up too, bro. You're an Israelite. Read verse 45. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou shall be destroyed. So God said the curses that I'm telling you are going to be upon you for a sign. They're going to come upon you, they're going to overtake you, and they're going to pursue you no matter where you go in the earth. And we still live under, the, still live under the curses. Now I'm going to show you one of these curses. Read verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That's a curse that happened to the children of Israel according to the Bible. Now, name another nation on the planet of the earth whose whole nation was taken from one continent to another continent and given to another people. Don't worry, I'll wait while you think about it. Name, listen to the question. You answer it too. Name another nation of people, not a small group of people of six million, over 200 million people taken from one place and given to another people. Who did that happen to? The Jews are the Israelites, bro. The Jew, you're right, it happened to the Jews Because that's the Jew right there that you're looking at This is the Jew, this is the Jew See what people like this try to do They have their job Is to make sure that you never Understand that you are an Israelite That you're the real Jew Now I got a question, I ain't talking to you Talk to the hand like they say, I ain't talking to you I got a question for you What do the people in Israel right now Do they call themselves Jews Or do they say that they're Jewish Which one they say they're what? They say they're Jewish. Now, why don't they call themselves Jews? I'm going to show you why they can't call themselves a Jew. Because if you say you're a Jew, you're saying that you are black. Give me that in Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. I'm going to show you something. This is why they will never say that I am a Jew. They will say, I'm Jewish. Like, I'm coming to your house around 5-ish. Am I coming at 5? Hell no, that black people time. I'm coming something like five, something around five. So when you say you're ish, you're saying that you're something like the real thing. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Two to morning. It says Judah is in mourning. The, the word Jew comes from this name right here, Judah. The word Jew comes from Judah. The Bible says Judah is in mourning. Mourning means they're in a place of sorrow. Are the people in Israel that run the diamond industry, that run the music industry, that run social media and media all over the world, are they in mourning? Hell no, they're the richest damn people on earth. What the hell they got to mourn about? Your ass in mourning. Your ass is in mourning. You're in mourning. Why? Because we are on the bottom of society, which shows that we're the Jews. It says Judah what? Mourning. Judah 
mourning and the gates thereof languish. It says the gates of Judah languish. Who are the gates of Judah? Gates mean leadership. Our people don't have leadership. They try to set up Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Barack Obama as leaders. They give us Jay-Z, Nas. They give us rappers and all these false entertainers for leaders. They're not leaders because they're not coming out of the mouth of God, out of the word of God. They will never give us a leader who's going to stand up and say that you are the people of God, that we put in slavery, put chains on your neck, sold your children off into slavery on other parts of the world, and have you in bondage to this very day. They will never tell us that. It says Judah mourning and their leadership lack. Come on. They are black. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the Bible say? What color is the Jews? They are black. What the hell he said? I said, what about the... Uh, I said, you said the people over there, you said that happened to the Jews. The Jews, which Jews? These Jews right here? Are you talking about these Jews? I'm, I'm asking you a question. You want to be involved? I do. I ask the questions. The Jews. The Jews, every last one of them was. The Ju I, I got a question for you. When you say, when you say that that happened to the Jews, are you talking about these brothers right here? Are you talking about us? Just like I thought. Hell no, he ain't talking about us. He talking about the people that look like him. That's right. Again, they are what? They are black unto the ground. Now the Bible says they're black unto the ground. Now when you look at the ground right there, right? I want you to take your heel, brother. I don't mess your shoe up. Take your heel and kick the dirt back like that right there. Kick the dirt back. It says they are black unto the ground. Now, you see that? Kick that up right there. Look at the ground. What color is the ground? What color is the ground? It's brown. What color is your skin? It says Judah morning, they are black what? Unto the ground. They are black like unto the ground. Because the deeper you dig in the soil, the darker and browner it gets. The Jews are black people. Not the white man that over there. Give me that in Luke chapter 21, right? I'm going to show you how those people got into that land. Because, yes, that is our land. We were, we are the original people of that land. I'm going to show you how they got into that land. Well, give me, uh, I want a 21 and 24, I think. Start at 24. The book of Luke chapter 21, verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. No, start at verse 21. I want you to listen to this. We always wonder... What a, well, if we're the Jews, if we're the Jews, what about the people over there right, right now calling themselves Jews? How did they become known as the Jews? I'm going to show you how. They took your nationality and they call, start calling them themselves Jewish. And then they call you black. They call us Negro, African American. That's not our nationality. We're the real Jews. This is, how they, this is how they got in the land. Read. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 21. Then let them which are in Judea be into to the mountains. Read verse 20. Verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies. It says when you see Jerusalem, which is in Israel, when you see Jerusalem come past with armies, this is talking about 70 AD. When Titus and Vespasian, then the Roman army, they surrounded Jerusalem with their armies. This is what Christ is prophesizing. 70 AD, Titus and Vespasian and the Roman army surrounded Jerusalem. He said, when you see uh, Jerusalem come past with armies, come on. Know that the desolation thereof is nigh. He says, know that your destruction is nigh. Within this destruction, you're going to lose your God. You're going to lose your nationality. You're going to lose your whole heritage. And you're going to become a nigger in America. Read on. Then... Let them which are in Judea flee to the mouth. I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna explain it to you. Jerusalem and Israel is in the northeast corner of Africa, right? When you flee down, when you flee into the mountains, you gotta come down from there to go into the mountains, which is Africa. So when Christ was telling them to flee into the mountains, He was telling them to flee deeper into the inner parts of Africa. Flee deeper into the inner parts of Africa. Okay, right in here. This is the Suez Canal they got in here now. But right, right in here, this is where we flee from. When you flee, you got to run into Africa. This is where we ran to. So, I gotta, I'm going to make this plain to you. If Christ looked like this right here, remember the angel told Joseph to take the baby and to do what? To run. because to, to, to run because the uh, Herod was going to try to find the baby and kill him. So, if Christ looked like this, and he ran into Africa. Could he hide? Hell no, he couldn't hide. 
Cause he do they ain't nothing but dark skinned people in Africa. That's so right. how the hell he how the hell is he gonna hide? Bring it out. He gonna stand out like a so dumb. Bring you know what I'm saying? This is how you know we have been lied to. We have been lied to as a people. Christ told the people, flee into Africa when you see Jerusalem surrounded by these armies. Come on, read. What you saying is true. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. He said if you there, depart out of Jerusalem. Why? And let not them that are in the countries enter there into. For these be the days of vengeance. He said, these are the days of vengeance. What are those days of vengeance that's talking about? Because we broke the commandments of God. He chose us as his people and we broke his commandments. Right. For breaking his commandments, the punishment was, if you break these commandments, all of these curses have to come upon you and your people. You listening up, brother? All of these curses have to come upon you and your people. You listening up? Because you fall under this too. You're an Israelite. All of the curses had to fall on us for a period of time before we could be restored as a people. Now read. And vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. The things that had to be fulfilled were all of the, the curses that we read back here. I'm going to show you why. Hold this. Hold this. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 15. There you go. Take your time with him. And I see you sword getting some work. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 15 real quick. And I want verse, I want 28 and verse 15. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Remember, God told us this shall come to pass. What is going to come to pass? If thou will not. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to God, what? To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said all these curses. Listen up, brother. He said all these curses. We went on, we going over the curses. Why we got to work at Walmart? Why are we on the bottom of society right now? He said all these curses are going to come upon us if we don't keep the commandments. Now go back to that in Luke. Go back to that in Luke and read the last verse that you just read again. And let them which are in the midst depart the, the out and let not them that are in the countries therein enter therein. For these be the days of vengeance, uh -huh. that all things which are written may be fulfilled. The things that had to be fulfilled was we had to go into slavery. We had to go into slavery because we broke the commandments of God. Go back to that in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 32. We had to go into slavery because we as the God's chosen people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are God's chosen people. You just go by the name black. You go by the name Hispanic and you go by the name Native Indian because that's the name that was given to you in slavery. But you got to remember who you are in these last days. You think us coming up out on this corner and, and standing up out, standing out here in the sun is just going on in uh, South Carolina? No. This is going on all over the earth. Yes. Why? Because the curses that we all went, that we were under are starting to be lifted. How do we know? Because we can open the Bible now and we can see who we are. Right. You're not black. You're not African American. You're the real Jew. Right. The people that are in there, they right now, they stole our nationality. They stole our nationality and gave us the name Negro. Right. Gave us the name African American. Right. When you examine the name African American, that's two white men. Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. Those are two white men. So when you call yourself African American, you're saying that you come from Leo Scipio Africanus, a white man, and Americo Vespucci, a white man. Americo Vespucci came here before Columbus. They named the country after him. That's why it's called America from his last name, Amerigo. Africa is named after Leo Scipio Africanus. Thus, it has the last name, or it has the name Africa after Africanus. So when you say these things, you don't know who you are. You got to remember that you're an Israelite and that you must keep God's commandments. One of God's commandments is you can't break the Sabbath day. When is the Sabbath day? When is the Sabbath day, brother? When's the Sabbath day? You say Sunday? He says Sunday. 
That's your final answer? Saturday. Okay, he said Saturday. What you say? You gonna say Sunday. What you gonna say? Saturday. You say Saturday. <laughs> Saturday is the Sabbath day. Yeah. But here in America, all these years, we've learned that Sunday is the Sabbath day. That's right. That ain't what's written in the Bible. Right. When you open up your phone and you go to your calendar, it says the first day of the week is Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the seventh day. Give me that in Exodus real quick. I'm going to show you how far we have fallen as a people. Read that. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with robots. 